Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for being you. You know, trying to get understanding to the peace. The peace of the crazy world that we are attached to. So, you know, I'm sending that love and energy out to everybody. Because I know we all really need it. Because we're always on a mission every single day. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if, you, if this is, you've if this you been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. So you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And... You know, if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you um, and you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for giving me as well as my channel so much love and support. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I am listening to Astro of Unfolding with Binary Tones. Caution, the audio is very effective. And yes, it is. I'm feeling so different right now. It just feels like they're opening up gateways for me and it feels kind of foreign. <laughs> so if you're feeling kind of a little tingly sensation or whatever... That's where it's coming from. So I had to make sure I turned it down so it wasn't overtowering the stuff I had to say. But today, my video is about um, Twin Flame 101. Um, having courage to step out of your comfort zone. We do. We need to have courage to step out of our comfort zone because we're so comfortable being there. That's why they name it comfort zone. You need to be able to do things that are new to you. Foreign. You know, those things that, you know... The, the stages we step into and the journeys we we're, journey we're on you know if you've been going through different things that's normal you know but when we're starting to open our lives up to all these different gifts or you know you're starting to explore different things that you're not used to you know it can get scary you know there's a lot of things you know I've been talking to a lot of empaths today and you know getting to know them more and more it's very beautiful but it can be sad at the same time because it's just a lot of us it's just like when we we know we have a job to do you know in this world is you know helping humanity with this crazy war we got going on it can be really scary and it's just like we, we will stay comfortable with things that we're used to and sometimes it can be scary you know a lot of people can say oh yeah I love change and when change actually come you, you will I don't know about all that. I can't. I mean, it can be scary at times. Shoot, I've done it myself. You know, I've a per personally, I mean, purposely sabotaged myself just because I was scared of change. And that's not good. That's not because it's just like God is blessing you or spirit guides or, you know, the powers that be, you know, are blessing us with all these different things. And sometimes we can be so stressed out, so angry. We, for we, we miss the blessings that are coming towards us. And it can happen. It's just like, especially if you're a twin flame, there was a long time I didn't hear my dad. Or, you know, I always wanted to talk to my dad. I'm like, where is he at? Where is he at? And then there'll be times that he's trying to send me that love or trying to tell me something. And I'll be so upset. And, you know, I would miss out on that because I blocked it. Because it's like all that negative shield is blocking all the good things that are coming in. And we get so frustrated. Like I was listening um, to Eat, what is it, Eat, Read, and Love. I love Sal. You know, he's a tarot card reader. And it was like um, one of his messages that um, I was watching earlier today. I, I was hearing it in my head, but I had to hear it again with him and I played that that video and it brought tears to my eyes he even had him crying because he can feel it you know we put ourselves in a box sometimes we label ourselves but it's just like you know like I, I would get love for my twin flame but I have to stop that you know because it makes me feel selfish because it's like you can get love all the time you know all you want to and you can send out so much love you know yourself but it's like the person has to be able to heal on their own for them to go back to the source and be able to come back and do what they have to do and it's just like you can get love all the time but it's just like you have to be able to do that from within and I had to tell 
my twin, I'm like, look, you know, I appreciate that, but this is something I have to do on my own. And I know I'm being tested for that. Like, are you going to take this? Because that makes you feel selfish. Like, it's, you know, you're taking, 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 and that's not good. You should be able to push that back out as well. You know, you want to be, want to be equal towards them. And it felt like it was more one sided and I felt really bad. You know, and I had to tell him, I'm sorry, you know, because it's like I always depended on him for me to feel better or, you know, he, you know, it's just because he's my dad at the same time. So automatically I'm doing what a daughter does. It's like when she's scared or whatever, running to daddy. But it's just the fact is I have to be able to do some of this stuff on my own. You know, I have to be able to heal. That's the strength that you're supposed to have on your own. But it's just like I have to be able to step out of my comfort zone. Don't, you know, as soon as I get upset, running back and doing what I used to do. And I'm proud of myself because there's a lot of times I can get pissed off or get up in my feelings. And next thing you know, I'm ready to roll a blunt. I'm ready to grab a cigarette. Want to have me a glass of wine. I'm not doing none of those things anymore. I'm going on about, well, almost close to three and a half months now. And I, it's just the fact is, I, today, you know, um went and meditated took me a long walk had some exercises you know i did my exercises for an hour um drinking plenty of water all that stuff because i said i'm not going to drink any more soda because lately i've been drinking a lot of soda like back to back 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 you know like pepsi and coca-cola shoot it you should have gave me a membership to that they're going to company for me to get free cases of soda because that's how much y'all was drinking but it was just like i'm tired of that so i've been drinking a lot of juice like 100% juice and a lot of water. I know um, one of my um, Fred and Helen, they would tell me about glasses of water. I said, look, I don't watch cabin fever. There ain't no way in hell I'm about to drink any uh, regular water. And plus our water here in Georgia is like so nasty. You can taste all the metal in it. So I really don't like drinking that kind of water. So but I appreciate the info though. <laughs> But I ain't drinking that water. And it's just like, but I have to drink bottled water. You know, I'm I'm stuck on one certain water. And it tastes really good to me. So, you know, as long as I don't keep it out in the, in the heat, I'm good. But, yeah, we have to do, usually do, we have to do things and step out of our comfort zone. We have to have that courage. You know, when you, when we signed up for this, we were some, you know, Buffalo soldiers, you know. I don't know, you know, that song by Bob Marley, Buffalo Soldiers, Hip Stop, Rock Star, whatever you were saying. But we're we're those. We're that badass. You know, so we already signed up for this situation. We're not signed up for the folks that we deal with in our family, the people that you might be with at the time. You pick these folks prior before coming to this life. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to deal with them so I can help them as well as help myself. And you have to be able to do that. You have to be able to step outside your comfort zone and just say, you know what, I got this. I'm tired of being stressed out. I'm tired of sitting up here being put down. I'm tired of, tired of being beat down. I got this. Don't let darkness take over that. Don't let mm -mm, don't let nothing that is trying to meant to bring you down or meant to throw a monkey rich in your program. Don't allow them to do that. I'm a sore loser. You ain't no way in hell you about to win. <laughs> I'm just like that. You are not going to win this. I'm not going to let people win. I've had so many people come in my life that was constantly coming down and it just ask me, hmm, what you dreamt about last night? Or, hmm, what vision you had? Just so they can pray upon that to make sure that didn't happen. Maybe you want to go kick their ass for that. But that's okay because, see, I allowed them in my life like that. They don't taught me a very valuable lesson. Keep your mouth shut. It's like when you have visions and stuff like that, keep it to yourself. Real G's move in silence. And I have to keep telling myself that. Real G's move in silence. You do what you need to do. I mean, it, it's, it could be really, you can have really something fantastic going on in your life. And just for you telling somebody that, they will pray upon that, have their thoughts, their opinions about it, and stop you in the process. And next thing you know, you wonder what happened because you don't opened your mouth. So go ahead. I mean, you can be happy, but celebrate by yourself until you get it. And then when you get it, then you go ahead and announce it to the world. But other than that, don't do that. Because me right now, I'm not worried about my future. I'm not doing that. I know I'm setting up myself right now. I'm worried about what's going on with me right now. That's what I'm concerned about. Because it's just like things change every day. Things change every day. And it's just the fact is, yeah, automatically we're going to, you know, reminisce, reminisce about things we went through. And we're going to sit up here and process things that might go on in the future. But you never know how things are going to go unless you take this courage to step out your comfort zone. 
So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I love y'all so much. I'm sending out so much calming energy and uplifting energy and loving energy. We all truly need it because we've gone through some mess. And, you know, I, I just want everybody to grow and everybody make it to the finish line. So now with much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And much love to you. And blessings to uh, shout out to Everett and Val. Much love to you. And I will talk to y'all later. Drop a comment, like and subscribe, share. And I will talk to you on the next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.